Uh, good day, people. It's time for a movie review on The Karate Kid, starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. Jackie Chan playing the sensei of Jaden Smith, of course. And I have to say, it was a decent, uh, somewhere between decent and good film. Uh, certainly not as good as the original, because the original is just classic. Can't beat it. But, um, you know, I have a few problems with this film. And to make my points, I'm going to have to provide spoilers. So if you're one of those whiny crybabies who doesn't like their spoilers, then um, too bad. Keep watching anyway, because this is going to be a great video. But um, one of the things I have to say is the training some of the training that Jaden receives in this film is good and entertaining and fits into the story. I mean, all of it fits into the story because it's the training. And basically what goes on in this film is, um, you know, he's training for a tournament. And Jackie Chan is training him. And there's problems with this, of course, because he is teaching him um, several techniques that... In Kung Fu about movement and Jane Smith doesn't even realize that he's learning anything really because Jackie Chan is telling him to hang up his jacket put it on put it on again and then drop it on the floor and then repeat the process over and over again and this goes on for like 20 or 30 minutes you know but it's all helping him to learn he just doesn't know it yet you know, but, but there is one problem about this it goes on for way too fucking long. I mean, come on already. There's only so much you can show of the same thing. It's almost like the filmmaker said, you know what, let's just make something really repetitious and annoying and put it in the film anyway and see if anybody even gives a shit. Well, guess what? I gave a shit and you know what? I think the idea sucked. And another thing about this film, the suspension of disbelief. Now, of course, you have to use this in any film. I mean, any fictionist film, you'd want to have your suspension of disbelief at the forefront so you can fully enjoy the movie. Well, this one takes it to a whole new level. And a lot of it is hilarious. I saw this with my friend Cameron, who, of course, you might know him from my YouTube channel. Uh, he starred in the Anime Castle one with me uh we went to go see this and we couldn't help but laugh after the film uh thinking back on some of the things that occurred in it because they were so outrageous i couldn't help but laugh myself i mean so many funny things happened um that i can you know i, I can't even put them into context but some of them is so great I, I mean, for example, there's one scene where, uh, it's a pretty long scene, it's a chase scene, where the bullies in the movie, uh, let me just fill you in on the plot, uh, there's, there's a little bit of the plot, the reason why he's in this tournament, uh, Jaden Smith, is because uh, it, it, uh, he's getting picked on by bullies because he starts hitting on a girl, an Asian girl, and uh, one of the bullies... Uh, doesn't like that because he likes the girl too, so they're gonna fight it out. And the only thing that's hilarious about this movie is Jaden Smith is supposed to be about 12 years old in this movie, and he looks like he's fucking 10, and so do the other kids in the movies. And, and, and the girl looks like she's at least 16 or 17. Something's wrong there. I, I mean, yeah, I, the fact that there's like a relationship in this movie with like with a kid that looks like he's 10 and a girl that looks like she's 17. You got problems there. I don't know what the fuck the filmmakers were thinking. They should have put a younger girl in there. I, you know, if they were going to have somebody that looks as young as Jane Smith to have the starring role and, and, and having this plot point. Doesn't make sense. But I, I, I can't stand the scene is that the bullies, because he has a whole gang with him, are chasing him through a, a, an alleyway that looks like it goes on forever. Now, I know in China they have these long alleyways or anything. At least I've heard or seen in movies. I don't even know if that's accurate or not. Um, and so they're chasing him through the alleyways. And, you know, there's people in these alleyways 
like salesmen, you know, like it's a little marketplace in there, and they're just running, throwing things down, bashing into stuff, jumping on the rooftops, jumping down like the fucking Spider Man, and the people are just standing there. And you think somebody's gonna call a police officer or at least grab one of the kids? It's like the people were just standing there saying, "Oh look, there goes a bunch of bullies chasing after that poor kid. Let's see if they catch him." <laughs> it's so fucking retarded. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't even believe that they made something so unintentionally comical in the movie. I mean, it had to be unintentional. If it is, you know, if it was intentional, then you know, it was funny, but it looks like it was unintentional. But really, it's like they're just destroying things, knocking down milk crates, just destroying public property. And nobody seems to face any repercussions for this. It, you know, it, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. And, and the other thing, when it actually gets down to the time of the tournament, you know, and he's, obviously you see all the moves that Jaden is learning because, you know, it's chronicled. You see every, all the different steps that Jaden is being put through with Jackie Chan in the training process. And when it comes time for the tournament, in, in, in the last fight where he fights the, the main bad guy, uh, um, Cheng, I think that's how you say his name, and he fights him. Uh, he he does this move where he slides under his fucking legs like a power slide. Uh, you know something that you haven't seen since our, you, the last rock concert you've been to. And you know what's funny about it? It's that I don't remember Jackie Chan ever teaching him the fucking power slide, and the the way how he finishes him off with this backflip kick. That they're not even Jackie Chan is capable of doing. I don't think it's a standing backflip kick. It's crazy, and he performs them with nice move and all. But I don't remember Jackie Chan teaching him that in the fucking movie. So I mean, suspension of disbelief is one thing, but just being outrageously unbelievable is a whole nother thing. I mean, man, don't even get me start again about that fucking jacket scene. It's just too much. Th to bear in this movie. I mean, seriously. Um, but overall, an entertaining film. A pretty good one. And I have to say that, you know, um, I think they were justified in remaking this movie. Now, I think that with all these remakes out there, A-Team and all these other things, that they're really running out of ideas for films. I mean, come on, let's face it. I mean, they're going back to all this old shit and bringing it back one after another after another. I mean, blah, 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 blah. It just doesn't stop. I mean, they've run out of fucking ideas already, and they're just putting stuff out there. But, you know, this one's good. It's great and everything. Um, but, you know, what can I say? They got to come up with new ideas in Hollywood. Same shit ain't working. All right, that's it. Go see it.